there is a scientific consensus. We need to be clear as to what that is, what that means. I mean, peer-reviewed journals, the, the, the vast majority of all peer-reviewed science comes down that conclusively that burning fossil fuels is driving climate change and it's a serious process. I mean, these are papers that are submitted without names on them that are read by experts uh, in journals that are monitored for professional standards by professional associations. And all of these journals and all these professional associations, one after the other, have concurred about the reality of this science. So there's no debate within science and among scientists. There is a debate in the editorial pages, and that's the result of fossil fuel money paying for messaging, hiring intellectuals to spread disinformation. One Pew poll found that in 2007, concern among Americans about climate change and, and viewing it as, as driven by humans was at 77 percent, I think it was in 2007. You know, that dropped to 57 percent, or 56 percent, you know, a year or two ago. So that's the direct result of this investment in, in messaging. And I think it's important as progressives to acknowledge this, that there's a debate, and then make it clear to people what the, the nature of the, the two areas is. That science, there is no debate, and that there's no responsibility, there's no vetting, uh, there's no accountability or responsibility to the truth in editorial pages of newspapers. And so that's where the debate is. Yes, there's a debate, and there will always be a debate as long as somebody has enough money to hire some shill to, uh, you know, write whatever uh, they want. And so that's, that's the story with the junk science versus real science. It's, um, you know, I mean, there isn't even really that much junk science. It's just sort of like manipulative, propagandistic messaging, being funded by ExxonMobil, the Koch brothers, you know, through right-wing think tanks that have open doors to the editorial pages and get on NPR, you know, I mean, American Enterprise Institute, Heritage, the Hudson Institute, I mean, these, these, these are the places from which come the pundits and experts who spread disinformation in the press. N none of those people write scientific papers.